Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 3 and episode number 4. Okay, so the previous episode, the previous two episodes, uh, it was like my first time reacting to uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion and obviously um, like I know nothing about this and it is something that is uh, obviously it is quite old and uh, it will take a little bit of time to like get accustomed to this uh, like style of an anime uh, like i've seen old animes uh, like uh, i've seen a lot of old movies obviously like i react to ghibli movies so i've seen a lot of old movies but animes uh, like old animes i think i've like uh, seen a few of it like uh, i think i saw um uh, like detective conan is one like i watched detective conan and it was like kind of old but i think uh, evangelion is a lot older than that as well so that and like i've seen a few other like um i think uh my son ikoku uh and like a few others like that uh, uh oh another one uh, uh full moon no sagashite uh, these are a few like um like old animes that i've seen but those were completely different they were more like um what can i say a slice of lifey type of show obviously uh full moon of sagashite was not slice of life it was kind of had a little bit of magical thing but uh it was something else and i have to say like uh like those uh like animes have a special kind of a thing and like i can find uh, it in this as well like especially the voice acting the voice acting is so different from animes nowadays and also like i don't know like the atmosphere and everything is quite different and i'm really liking the change of uh like what can i say the change of um atmosphere and everything that i'm like uh watching uh and like uh like discovering now like obviously these animals have been it has been a long time these animals have aired so like i'm like a modern anime watcher so i can kind of like see what people used to watch so it's kind of like new uh, for me so like uh, yeah and the story in itself is has barely started uh, and like it's a good start and I'm looking forward to what it has to bring uh, in the future episodes and I'm really looking forward to for Asuka like uh, like I'm I'm a like big fan of Sundrais and <laughs> I don't know like uh, Asuka is called the like first Sundrai or something like the like one of the like first ones to like ever like uh, like exist so yeah i'm looking forward to that so yeah guys um without further ado um let's get started with neon genesis evangelion episode number three all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here link it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go All right. Oh, also another thing, like it's quite a really like a uh, surprise. Like I play Honkai Impact, if you guys know, like surprisingly, it also has like an Evangelion collaboration going on and like the first two episodes I had already watched, uh, like this, uh, like in the previous week. So, like when I like started playing Honkai Impact, uh, the way they introduced the whole thing was so good. Like uh, they kind of like, uh, like I, they, they like put like their characters in places of like Shinji, uh, Rei, and all of them. Uh, and like I could like understand like what the hell was happening, and because I've seen the first episode. So like that was really cool and uh, like I kind of appreciated more that like I started watching this show. So I'm a big Honkai Impact fan. I love it. So <laughs> Alright, let's see. Damn, he looks pretty battered up. Electricity. 
umbilical cable okay five minutes oh okay that's the limitations <coughs> Damn, he looks, he doesn't look okay, like, is this some kind of, uh, like, some kind of, uh, tr training mod, like, training thing? Yeah, I think this is, like, some kind of VR or something they're doing. Or AR tech, not VR, AR technology. Yeah, it is, like, a calibrated, like, Oh my god. Oh, this Shinji doesn't look okay. Oh my god. Kind of like breaking down. The silent phone. All right. What's that noise? Is that the penguin? Oh. <coughs> oh no. Oh boy. Okay, well <coughs> Boyfriend oh <laughs> Okay Okay. Oh, so that was the title, like, of this episode. Yeah, he seems kind of like that guy. Hedgehog's dilemma. Okay, that's a weird thing to bring out here. Yeah, but you cannot, like, you hurt yourself and the other as well. Okay. Oh, this is uh, Ray. Ray, isn't it her name? Forgot her, like, what is this? Some kind of camera? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, they're like hushing it out. Mm, okay. <coughs> oh, he's here. Yeah, a lot of things like people we saw kind of saying that uh, like I have to go away from here like I did not expect this. Hmm. Oh no. Oh my god.
That's why. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get some history lessons. Like we need to like know more about this word. To the pen. Oh, okay. Second impact. Who is this? Oh no, uh, <laughs> the teacher. Oh my God. All of them are girls, like none of the boys that I can see here. What's he doing? <coughs> the teacher. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Is there no? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can see a few guys other than those two. Oh yeah. Like I saw this coming. He's going to like, like lash out on him. That doesn't give him the like permission to like hurt him. Like what the hell? This is one thing that I really hate like people lashing out on others because of diff like a, a, some completely different reason like i know like i get it like you are in a problem in yourself but that doesn't give you the right to lash out on others oh my god like just imagine like after like this situation he has to like go and like get in the pi like pilot seat again <laughs> What the hell is this? Is this a new kind of like angel? I think yeah, they're called angels, aren't they? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I'm guessing the buildings will like get down now. Yep. Damn, it's like everything is under lockdown. <clears throat> the bigger buildings are getting down. I think the smaller residential buildings would probably stay.
Or no, is everything going down? What the hell is happening? So weird. Wait a minute. Okay. Your shelter. Yeah, obviously people will panic. <clears throat> wow, what the? Fifteen years, three weeks, damn. Okay. Okay, that's the fourth angel, all right. Yeah, like there's no other choice. Like what else would you even do? Oh my god, I'm feeling like like I don't know. Like will Shinji be okay like after all of these things happening? Like he got roped into this whole situation. Wow, these guys are stupid. Oh my god. Well, at least he realizes that. Um, that's not how it works. You're going to like put yourselves in danger and like put him in problem. Like he'll have to like rescue you. Like, like that's more problem for him. Okay, there you go. There's Evangelion. All right. Well. Oh my God, they went out. Uh. Well, hopefully the alien doesn't like notice him them. Okay, there it is. Oh no, he is. Okay, all right, he is. Okay, he's doing good. Oh, wait, he's not doing good. I thought he was. Oh no, damn the weapon. Okay. Oh my god, he's freaking out. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Damn. Damn, the electric! Oh, that, that was the umbilical cord!
Okay. Oh no, this angel is a little bit difficult for him. Damn. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Three minutes, damn. Okay. Like, what else to do other than that? Yeah. Yeah, our camera will be fine. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, like. Wow, what the? Damn. That's a small knife. Damn, he's his eyes are like completely vacant. Oh. Is he going berserk again? Like the first episode? Oh. Damn. Oh, he got it. Okay, slice it off. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Okay, he got it. That was close. Okay. Okay, so he is more like a guy who like runs, rushes into danger whenever he freaks out too much. Like, people usually retreat, but he rushes into it. Well, thankfully these two guys will understand now what he has been through. Yeah, not that, yeah. I doubt that would have worked. Shinji, like, I think this is like the least thing that is affecting Shinji, like them beating him up more like complex reasons are the reason why he's not coming in and all of it like the whole thing with his dad and like his mental pressure that is kind of affecting him like like they're like they're beating them up him up was also kind of related but i think that is not the main reason he has like d more deep-rooted problems other than this oh 
Wow, that was abrupt. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, like um, okay, so the things that are affecting Shinji are like first of all, he doesn't want to like pilot it, like he doesn't want to get in these situations. But since his dad said like Shinji, get in the like uh, robot, or if you don't want to get in, just get out. Like that was his only thing, and the only reason why he called him here because. Just because he wanted him to like, uh, like get into the Evangelion, and like that in itself is the major like major problem with him. Like he is kind of being affected by that, like by the pressure that his dad is putting on him, and like he doesn't want to do it. And if he doesn't do it, the realization that his dad will like, uh, I don't know, like not like that and tell him to go back again, not recognize him, and like. Like, even though he said that uh, I really do not like dad and stuff like that, and uh, I think, he, he, okay, that's the end. Like, he wants recognition from his dad. Like, that is the main thing. But obviously, he doesn't want to get into the robot. And also, like, at the same time, his dad would not recognize him unless and until he gets in the robot. I doubt he would even recognize him even if he gets in the robot. Like, uh, like his, his dad uh, did not seem like a person like that. Like he was more of a kind of a stoic guy who like like only uh, fo focuses on his like job like that kind of person. So like uh, like it is kind of like an extreme. So obviously I don't know why he is like this. Like did something happen in their past or something else? I'm not sure. Did something like tragic happen? In their past that he kind of became like this like usually in these kind of situations there is like a backstory uh, behind uh, like for example his dad like we still have not heard anything from Sh about Shinji's mom we still do not know if Shinji's mom is alive or is she okay or something so I don't know like usually in these type of situations the like like in, like majority like in majority of the animals that I've seen uh, it's more like uh, the person uh, who is like this, like uh, Shinji's dad, is usually being affected by something in his past. Maybe something related to his family, maybe something related to Shinji's mom, I'm guessing. It's just a guess. Because obviously, like, uh, we have not seen, like, heard anything from Shinji's mom. So I'm guessing, <clears throat> like, there must be something, like, surrounding that. Because... So maybe, like this is just a guess, maybe uh, because like uh, Shinji's dad lost uh, like uh, her wife, uh, like his wife, uh, he is more like this now, uh, like uh, only doing his job, like uh, focusing on his job and like doesn't care about anything else, like that kind of broke him or something. I don't know, like this is just how it usually happens in animals, this can, uh, this can be something completely different, I'm not sure. but. Yeah, but usually it, it's something like that, and I'm not sure if this anime is like following that same path or not. But anyways, um, okay, so yeah, uh, this was uh, this episode was um, yeah, like <laughs> we kind of saw Shinji's uh, like reluctance to get in the Evangelion, and uh, like his um, like even after like stuff like these are happening, he's kind of getting beaten up. In school which i doubt will happen after any more after this because obviously like these two guys kind of saw uh what he is going through uh through their own eyes so i doubt like they will do anything else like this like uh the other guy i, I forgot his name uh, the guy who beat him up like he even like decided to i'm, I'm thinking like uh, he must have decided to apologize and like he is looking for shinji now and uh trying to like contact him and so yeah, I doubt uh, they'll mess with him like any more any longer. I was kind of like expecting this to like go even more in that direction, like the bullying direction, because obviously like Shinji is kind of like a quiet kid, and these two uh, like guys are kind of uh, like uh, like like the, the the guy who beat him up kind of like vented his own frustration on him because of like his sister and stuff like that. So I was kind of like expecting him to like go more in that direction. But obviously like that got resolved in this episode only so I doubt like something like this is going to repeat so at least Shinji is going to be fine in school 
uh, the main problem that he is uh, probably going to get affected in the future as well is is that problem and the Vangelian problem so unless and until that is cleared out he will continue to like be like this and another thing that I saw like uh, usually like when people panic and uh, the people kind of retreat and when like uh, like, uh, like Misato said that okay he is like uh, the angel is like uh, like is, is distracted now like retreat now get out of that place he kind of freaked out and decided to charge in now this is a really unique thing that uh, like people like we rarely see in people that is when they like um, I don't know it's ex under extreme stress they kind of like rush in like, this is quite like usually people like retreat but like these type of people kind of rush in and that is Shinji I think like he kind of rushed in the whole situation and like thankfully uh, like luckily he was able to destroy that core before uh, the like backup power got out so that was quite lucky and <clears throat> yeah and I think uh, the reason why he like he, he was kind of freaking out at that moment like he was saying that no I won't retreat I cannot retreat and this is like this is a, a really different thing like for example people when they, they usually say stuff like that like I won't like fall down I will stand up they are like doing this because of their motivation their confidence they're like not giving up kind of um, like, uh, like mentality and their self con like confidence and determination because of that like they usually do that and like stand up fight again usually in shonen like animes we see that but this was something completely different this like he was doing this not because of those reasons he was saying that like yeah i cannot retreat because he was like scared of disappointing his dad like that was the reason here and i think that is if like even more like i don't know like that is a really um like, that is the reason which will cause him problems later on like his like like the reason for him like getting up and doing his job like it's kind of a negative thing like usually due to positive thing people kind of like get up does not give up these kind of things happen but he is doing this because of a negative thing that his his like uh like he's thinking that my dad will be disappointed in me again people will be disappointed in me again so like i have to like stand up oh boy <laughs> and this will like <clears throat> like be more stressful for him in the future as well also yeah i was kind of saying this before but uh like <clears throat> yeah like uh <coughs> excuse me the episode uh like the first episode was kind of like a like honkai impact that i played it's kind of like doing the this whole collaboration thing with evangelion and i'm really glad that i started this anime now and uh like uh that was really something else and uh when i was like listening to the the history lesson that they were giving but <coughs> they were talking about some kind of uh like thing coming from like outer space and uh like a meteor i think and uh like it was like an eruption or something and they called it the second impact or something i cannot remember uh, uh the plot is a lot like uh, like i think it's a lot like honkai impact which is kind of incorrect to say because obviously evangelion came out a lot before honkai impact so I think Honkai Impact kind of uh, like took it from this like not everything but uh, like certain stuff so also like because of the similarities they're also like doing this whole um, collaboration thing and I am really like glad that I uh, started this anime now because like I can kind of like relate to both of them now <laughs> yeah anyways guys so that is it and uh, that was uh, episode number uh, three so without further ado let's get started with the fourth episode of Genesis Evangelion. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. You know, uh, one thing uh, like, uh, that was that thing that was showing that a uh, weird kind of like a uh, diagram with like like a, I don't know what that was like uh, the kind of like a root like uh, you know root uh, of a tree like that kind of thing and like there were like uh, weird kind of diagrams there 
that seemed a lot like um something that i've seen in another anime i cannot remember like these weird diagrams <sighs> oh uh, okay i can kind of yeah that, that was from uh, full metal alchemist brotherhood the uh, like the gate of the truth like the weird kind of diagrams that it had uh, it's kind of like similar to that kind of like uh, noticed I really hope that Shinji kind of like gets over this like uh, complex that he has with his dad because obviously like the way he's fighting is really reckless. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> oh yeah, he is like uh, holed up in his room. Little Shin's room? What? <laughs> okay. Five days. What is he even doing in his house? Uh, uh, in his room? Oh, he's not here. What the hell? Wait, did he go away? Yeah. Rain after running away. Oh, the two friends. Oh, well, you're a bit late. Aida and Suzuhara. His dialect. Yeah, this dialect is different. Oh, she is not telling them. Okay, his dialect is not so much, but it he still has a slight dialect. Kansai Ben dialect. I think so. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> okay, so what is he planning to do now? Oh, he is not even like getting off the train. I think he doesn't have anywhere to go. Like, where will he even go now? Yeah. The train won't yeah, move anymore. <coughs> Where?
what the oh Oh, his eyes. Damn. Oh, okay, yeah, like second impact, Tokyo okay, too. Um, can can't he go back to his like original house or something like, uh, or from where he came, or is there no way to go back or something like that? What's happening? What the hell? Damn. Huh. Okay, the sound effect was really weird. All right. Jinji's is just like wandering around, having nowhere to go. He needs some time to reflect on like everything. And I'm sure like he will come to a conclusion on his own. Um, okay, only fourteen years old scan. Okay, what happened then? Yeah, like let's listen to this. Damn. What the hell? What? What? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah. Uh.
Oh, okay, he found him. Okay. A job dilemma. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, I don't think you should say stuff like that to Shinji. Oh. Okay, he also doesn't have... This was what I was talking about before. I think there must be something with his mom that kind of made him dad, his dad like this. Like losing her or something. Oh, wait. Who are them? Oh, are they here for Shinji? I think so. Oh my god! Huh, wow. I think they had real guns. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's kind of correct. <laughs> okay. I think he's going to say that, yeah, okay, fine, I'll do it. Yeah, that's the only choice. Damn, the voice acting. The Shinji is too much into his own bubble like he is not even like considering what others might feel obviously his dad is like this but still oh my god here we go what child hasn't been found out Designed. Damn.
Yeah, like just apologize. Okay, let's see. Will he go for it? Um, what? Oh, okay. Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh My God. I talked to them. Yeah, it's kind of really showing. He cannot be close to others. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. I don't think he'll get in. Who was that? Uh, I don't think he got in. Yeah, uh, he, he's still standing there, I think. Oh. Who's, who's guy? This is Misato? Oh, wait, did you really get in? Or... Oh, he's there.
Damn the music in the background. Wow. Wow, that was a good episode. I have to say, like, this episode was really something else. Um, a lot of things uh, in this episode, like, first of all, the Hedgehog's Dilemma, like, as she said, that that's the only way, like, he can go close to others. Like, like, Hedgehog's Dilemma, like, uh, like Shinji has, like, these kind of spikes in his, like, uh, like back and everywhere so whenever he tries to go like close to another he hurts the other person that was like uh what misato was trying to say but at the same time that is the only way he can show affection and i think uh misato kind of like understood that later on like in the beginning like uh like when he like after he left like uh, supposedly left um uh when like in the end when like uh the other doctor uh, uh what was her name i forgot anyways uh like misato's friend when he she was talking with misato and saying that so he left didn't he and misato said that uh yeah like uh like the hedgehog dilemma like that's the only way he can like go close to others and i think that was the reason when she herself realized that that is the only way that he can go close to others but still is being isolated because obviously he hurts others if, whenever he like goes close to others so misato herself realized that the pain that she felt when interacting with shinji was the same thing and she kind of like uh like did not like that and like went away and left shinji alone but unfortunately shinji like knows like that is the only way shinji knows how to like get close to others by hurting others so when she realized that she i think she also understood her own mistake that she made so she rushed off she rushed out and like decided to like go and like confront him in the uh, like train station before he like leaves i think that was the re like time when like misato herself realized that shinji is a like person like that like he's awkward and like uh, the things that he usually says and uh, is like usually hurts others like the thing that like acted as the spikes of a hedgehog in this episode was the way shinji like acted at that moment when he was like sitting down and like he was being asked by misato that uh, like have you had your like fun did you like do your own stuff so what do you feel now and shinji said uh, stuff like uh, like yeah i'll get in like uh, like there's no one else who would get in other than me isn't there like uh like he acted as if like misato and no one like he doesn't even care like that is the thing that hurted misato more so like that acted as the spike like the needles of a hedgehog in this episode and misato got hurt because of that and like 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 that is the thing like shinji like knows like like the only way shinji knows how to like act and behave is that way which kind of hurts others but that doesn't mean that he like deliberately hurts others like his actions his behaviors hurts others but he still wants to be like close to other people like have friends and be uh, like uh, like i don't know like have someone like others like being affectionate to him he wants that but he doesn't know how to act like in a nutshell he is awkward like that is the like word that i was looking for like he's awkward and he is a person who usually hurts the others in that process and so that's the reason why he do usually doesn't have friends and uh, stuff like that so even if he does have someone like who cares for him because of his awkwardness and his like weird type of uh like i don't know behaviors people like get like uh, like I don't know like people do not like that and like go away from him the same mistake that misato was also going to make but she did not like she realized later on and like she went uh, to the station to stop him 
and like yeah like uh, that was really good like this is like this is more of a really like you have to really think about this to like understand a lot of things in this like uh, especially in this episode and uh, another thing that i really think is like shinji is is in a bubble like his own world where he like the only thing that concerns him is his father and uh, like if i will be able to like please him or not if uh, he will be disappointed in, in me or not or stuff like that and like inside that bubble that's the only thing that he has and he like the other things doesn't even like get inside that bubble the other things being the things that misato's concerned like he didn't even notice misato's, misato's concern for him he was just in his own world like thinking about what he like is doing uh, like why his dad doesn't like uh, i don't know like doesn't care about him or stuff like that and all of these things like uh, inside this bubble there's only two things him and his dad and that's it so like the other people's concern for him like misato's concern did not get inside that bubble the like way the like the other two friends uh, the other two guys tried also to like uh, like i don't know like try to cheer him up and stuff like that uh, also did not get inside that bubble like he spent the whole uh, like night by the campfire with that guy and he had a like a good talk with him and like that also did not get in and also another thing that i noticed here is like shinji like this is one thing that usually we see in a lot of people like they think that they are the most unfortunate people in the whole world i think shinji is kind of being, like affect like kind of a guy like that like just uh, like uh, th that scene where he was talking with that guy uh, in front of the campfire he was saying uh, like talking and uh, about like parents and stuff and like he said that your parents will also like be uh, concerned so like you should not do that like by that he did not he did not uh, like like that was not something that he said just for the well-being of the other guy he said that because he wanted to i don't know uh like like, like he wanted to feel um uh, what can i say like I, I cannot find the words to express um like he wanted uh it as if to feel like he was the most unfortunate person in the whole world because uh, of his situations like that is the reason why he said stuff like that just to like demean himself and that was the reason why he said stuff like that but just then when like the other guy said that oh like uh, you don't need to worry about that i don't even have a mom either i'm just like you like his eyes kind of like became like his like hollow eyes kind of became, life came into his eyes and like and i think at that moment he kind of understood that uh like yeah like i'm not the only one with all of these problems there are a lot of people with their own problems as well so like i'm not special in that way like 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 he kind of understood that because like um like a, a really interesting like shinji has a lot of like um things within him which are like which you really really have to think about like the human emotions the human psychology all of these things like you really have to like uh, like notice them and uh, like shinji is like that one person who is really um like trub like troubled with teenage stuff like he's basically that he's just a guy who is troubled growing up and he is like uh being like obviously because of like his dad also like obviously like uh people like children especially grow up to be these kind of persons because obviously they are not like taught well like they are not um i don't know uh, like like no one is there to like help them when they need that's the reason why people usually like become this kind of twisted uh, i doubt his dad had any like hand in helping him cope up through these problems i doubt it and i doubt like he had any of any person like just to be beside him and help him uh, in his like uh, problems uh, i doubt that so i think that kind of made him a person like this like uh, he is like he does not have any kind of self confidence he is really um like mistaken about a lot of things and he is really troubled because obviously like no one was there uh, at least i think so like no one was there beside him and told him that no this thing that you're doing that's not correct like you should not probably do that or like uh, don't feel like that like uh, we also have like problems like this like just uh, 
like anyone like just anyone i think no one there there was no one who had like stuff like this who told him stuff like this and like encouraged him in his like problems he just had to cope it up on his own and like go through all of these things on his own and obviously because he is a child like he did not know how to do it so like now coming into contact with all of these new friends a, a new adult that is misato who kind of i think at least like cares for him just like uh his like a, a, like an older sister um uh, like coming into contact with all of these people uh he is now like presented into a completely new environment which he is not accustomed to he is only accustomed to just like sitting in a corner thinking about like uh his dad and himself and how unfortunate is he is like he's like accustomed in doing that so if you suddenly take that person and like uh, present him into an environment when there is like a person like misato who really like at least i think like he she cares about him uh and uh two more like a uh, person who would probably become his potential friends like in the future them and like a lot of other people like classmates and everything and a really like bright place obviously he's going to have some kind of problems because he is accustomed to living inside that bubble he won't be able to like break in outside that bubble so easily so yeah this like episode really like showcased that and i really like loved how they like did it and yeah i i can kind of see like why people really um praise this anime and this is barely the fourth episode and like i have to say like this is like one of the best episodes i've seen and this really shows like how a tro- of a troubled individual shinji is and uh like he really does not understand like what people expect from him and what he should do or like uh like what others like what others have like uh, like think about him he doesn't even know that so yeah like it will take a little bit of time i think but i think if he like keeps uh like contact with all of these different types of people his friends misato all of them i'm sure like he will slowly be able to crack and break open that bubble and get outside into the like outside world and uh like that is the time when he would like forget all of the things all of the concerns he have all of the uh, like problems that he has with his dad and be able to live his own life and yeah anyways uh so yeah that was a really good episode i really enjoyed that so like uh yeah that is the only, the only thing that i have to say about this and like like he kind of took the first step in this episode first step of trying to reach out to others like he like reached out to Misa- misato misato also kind of understood that this is the only awkward way that shinji can con- like interact with others and uh, like she should at least like see it through his perspective like she also kind of understood that so i'm sure like they will at, at least like they will try their best to like uh, cope like at least shinji will try his best to cope up with the whole situation and misato will also help him in that and his two fr- new friends will also uh, help him as well and i'm sure like he like like better days are going to come and he is going to improve uh, more so yeah like um like one thing i can say like uh, seeing this uh, like uh, episode that shinji is a really faulty individual but that is not something that uh, is bad like he is more human and he is just a little kid with problems like of on of his own and like some real deep rooted problems and and we like really see a main protagonist uh, like this and i'm really glad that they kind of like uh, he is like the main protagonist here like with problems like this and i'm really like uh, i don't know i'm really looking forward to like how he grows or what happens in the upcoming episode and uh, i have to say like another thing i was really impressed about was like the voice acting was so good like the way they were talking especially when the like misato was talking to with shinji in that like room uh, like the voice acting was so damn impactful like uh, i have to say and another thing like they kind of did was like when he was talking with the two friends uh, the two guys uh, there was like a weird kind of a background sound coming out which was like uh, like increasing uh, little by little and like kind of like i don't know what to say like it's, it's like a weird feeling and uh, uh, also in the later parts as well like when misato and like shinji kind of like was at this like train station 
uh, that thing again happened like a, a, a like a, a music background music kind of started playing and that's not like a normal background music like it was more like everything was calm and there was this one single like music uh, that was like playing being played from a radio and like that was pretty cool like I really liked that thing <laughs> whatever they did there and yeah anyways guys so that was this episode uh, I really I'm really glad that I took this up and I started like watching this and reacting to this because I have to say like I, I like I think like this will be a really like amazing ride and this will like go deep into the like human like psychology and like it's more like uh like um uh, what can I say like psychological type of an anime and like uh like it gets into your, like your mind into the human brain and yeah I'm down for that so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching this was uh, episode number four of Neon Genesis Evangelion so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed consider doing so comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general I'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys um, I'll be back with another uh, two Neon Genesis Evangelion episodes next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day